Welcome to Craft With Us. First thing we're going to be making is this DIY marble toss game. So what you're going to need is some marbles, obviously, three elastic bands, four to six toilet paper rolls, a sharpie, and some paint or markers or stickers or whatever you want to decorate your toilet paper rolls with. Let's get started. So once you have your toilet paper rolls decorated, you're going to decide on what configuration you want them in and assign them points. So for example, I decided on having two tens, a 20, a 30, a 40, and a 50. You can decide however you want, so then you're just going to mark on the front and on the inside how much each one is worth. So once you're done marking down how much each of them is worth, you're going to then put them together so that they hold as one game. So you, what you're going to do is take your three elastic bands. The easiest way I've found to do this is you're going to take... I'm making this my front piece. The final formation is going to be a triangle like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an elastic band around these front ones, and I'm going to put an elastic band around these three, and then I'm going to put an elastic band around these three. And then they should all hold together as one unit. And there you have it, your very own marble toss game. So the three elastic bands kind of holds it in its triangle shape without too much warping or moving around. And then you can just take it outside and toss marbles. All right, so for the homemade chalk paint, all you need is equal parts cornstarch and water and food coloring. For this, demonstration I'm using a quarter cup but you can use how, however much or little you want. The important thing is to mix each color separately because you're gonna put the food coloring in the water and then add the water and the food coloring to the cornstarch. So I'm just gonna add a few drops and it's sort of up to you to, to decide how concentrated you want the color to be because the more concentrated your color is in the water the brighter your paint is going to be. So once you've got that to the point you want it, then you add the water to the cornstarch and mix it together. Then you mix it until it's all combined. And there you have it. And you can mix however many colors of this you want and then take it on outside. If you're going to store this, I would say store it in any container with a lid. When you take it out again to use it, you'll have to either shake it or remix it because the cornstarch will settle. All right, have fun. Don't forget to join us live on Facebook on Friday at 2 p.m. We're going to be making Ladybugs versus Tadpoles. Thanks for watching.